So I was asked in one of my other videos whether you could use the Brother QL600 for Hermes labels. As it's the season of goodwill, I've got an Amazon return to do. So let's take a look. So once you've selected to return your Amazon item with Hermes, you're going to get to a page similar to the one you can see on the screen at the moment. So it's got the all important shipping label here. This is the one we're going to focus on printing in this video. There's also a second label further down that you must include within the box of the item that you return. So be sure to include that when you do return items to Amazon. Um, as I said, we're focusing on printing this with the Brother QL600. I think this will also apply to at least the QL700 and possibly the QL800. Do give a comment down below, let me know which of the Brother label printers you have success with, let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't already checked them out, please see my other videos on the channel. There's at least two others covering the Brother QL600 and printing for Royal Mail and giving you an overview of the device itself. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do on this label is right click, it's actually an image file. So you can actually select save image as you might see a slightly different option if you're using Chrome or using uh, Microsoft Edge, but you want to save that image file. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, the default name of the image is index.gif. Um, that's absolutely fine. Just go ahead and save that as a GIF or a GIF file. Okay, once we've got that saved, um, what we're actually going to go ahead and do is go into the Brother uh, software. So I'm just opened up ptouch editor the brother bundled software for using the label printer and I'm just going to pick the open option up here in the top left you can see in here now i'm in the folder that i think i've saved in but there's nothing showing now that's because uh, of the file type selection down below here so it's defaulting to all the kind of label formats that it's expecting click on that drop down and just select all files and then you're going to see your um, index.gif or index.gif appear here so you can actually now open that one up and then there we go you've got it within the software um, hopefully you're seeing this correctly that you've got the orientation horizontal over here if you go into the paper tab make sure you've got the media here set to 62 millimeter as well and you should be seeing it looking just as it is on the screen here um, if your margins are any higher than three millimeter as well take them down three mil is the the lowest you can go um, and make sure you've got auto length selected there as well now we can go into the print menu so come up to file in the top left and select print or you can use the control b shortcut and then there's a few specific settings we're going to change in here okay so first one on this output drop down menu change that from standard to high resolution if that's not already selected and then in these options below make sure you've got priority to print quality checked as well so i'm just going to select that one okay so those two changes in this first dialog box and then come up to the top right click on properties and then we're going to change a few more things so you can see the paper size is set to 62 millimeter it's remembered the quality for high resolution that's looking good if we click on the advanced tab at the top here we're then going to select this middle option uh, for text and graphics dither and we're going to drag the brightness all the way down to minus 20 and then we're going to drag the contrast all the way up to plus 20. Okay so we've got those three changes on this screen and then we're going to come on to the other tab at the top here and make sure you've selected to this checkbox for arrange the font stroke so tick that one and then hit the OK at the bottom here. So that's remembered all those changes and then we're ready to hit print. So here you can see the quality of the label that's just printed. It all looks really good. The only thing that's not so great is the subtext under the Hermes logo, but that's the least important thing. The important thing is that using these settings, you get this high quality label produced where the QR code will scan successfully and the barcode will scan successfully. The other text, the return to address and the text above the barcode are also clear to read. Now, I use the Android app that I linked to in one of my previous videos 
goes on the Brother QR600 to scan and test that the QR code and the barcode are both working correctly. So they both scan successfully and they show you the text um, from within them. So you can go ahead and install those to your phone. I'll link to the one for Android below. Um, you can probably find something very similar if you have an iPhone on the App Store. That just gives you the confidence and I really suggest you do want that confidence after you print this off that scanning of the QR code and barcode are going to be no problem at all. So I'll link to those down below. Um, thanks very much for watching this video. Again, I hope it's been really useful. I'm still really impressed by what a budget a label printer like the Brother QL600 can do. I hope you're enjoying your printer or this has helped you made a buying decision. If not, um, please do give a like to the video to show others and show YouTube that it's useful. If you're new to the channel, a subscribe, of course, would be amazing. I'd really appreciate that. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video.